All right, guys, well, it's been a minute since we've had to talk about how awful Games Workshop is as a company, how much they hate their fans, their customers, how much they just can't stand the traditional gamer. As you know, so many of these companies and media outlets and news outlets and journalists have come out saying that the problem with everything in life is the gamers, the fans. I mean, look at the Acolyte right now. They're trying to paint Star Wars fans as the biggest problem with modern day Star Wars. I mean... The level of contempt these companies, these people have for the paying customers is mind-boggling. It's staggering. So we had, like, the prime example of this a few months ago with the Adeptus Custodes retcon from Games Workshop, where they said there's always been female custodies, and then sites like the Gamer ran in, you know, carried water for them, basically saying, oh, the, shut up about the 40k female custodies, you're all bigots, you're all a bunch of, you know, misogynistic, homophobic transphobes, you, you just don't like strong women. Of course, never addressing the fact that the biggest issue stemmed from Games Workshop, their social media account, lying to the customer. Never lie to the customer. That is like 101 bad business, okay? <laughs> Before we get into any more of this, make sure you check out the website, minimaleffort.shop. I'll actually have an article on this probably out first thing in the morning. So watch the video first, and then if you want to just catch it, you know, a little brief summary of it, we'll have an article written up about it as well. So... We've seen a lot of rumors about uh, Warhammer, both the TV show that they've been working on over at Amazon, as well as the game, a lot of the other you know issues behind the scenes, even rumors that Henry Cavill was not happy with the retcon, and it was basically causing a lot of tension behind the scenes getting this deal done for his show with Amazon. This has not been confirmed. As far as I know, the show is still greenlit. Again, he has not said anything official about this, but remember people like Henry Cavill massive lore nerds he loves lore he loves the actual books that go with a lot of these games the stories the characters that have been created in these worlds and unfortunately for games workshop their decision to lash out at the fans lie to the fans has resulted in their stock just not doing well this last year i mean things have not been looking pretty ever since this announcement was made this is kind of where the big dip was back here in april and then of course you see right here that back in may they decided to make a price hike announcement about all of their miniatures. I mean, you got to remember, this is a very expensive hobby. People like me, if I wanted to do this casually, I would never get into this hobby because of the price associated with it. Not to mention, I don't have the space for it. If you were going to do like a tabletop and actually have a dedicated table for this, I don't have that kind of space in my house. But yeah, increases up to 20% on some of these items. Now you have an even more egregious example today of Games Workshop being a completely scummy, evil company. So Archcast, somebody who has been outcast essentially from the Warhammer community by Games Workshop, they actually forced him to change his name, I believe, on YouTube. Um, he had this tweet that I noticed saying, this man is being sued by Games Workshop for making 3D printable models of a setting that they don't even make anymore. Do consider checking him and his legal fund, his GoFundMe out. Not even kidding, this is messed up. And you can see uh, Thor Odinson down here asking which setting. And Thor Odinson, massive collector, massive collector, okay, of Warhammer stuff, asking about this. And the funny thing about it is Thor Odinson is probably one of their biggest customers, given the fact that he has pictures of his collections of tens of thousands of dollars worth of Warhammer merchandise. And so, of course, apparently this is um, from Total Warhammer. So apparently he has the three files and sold them online. I don't know if that's verified or not because of the fact that this guy actually has given away. Seems like a lot of his public uh, 3D you know, models and prints have been available to the public to just download for free. So you can see he has his page here, Eman Gaming, Eman G, where he has all of his 3D models. You see things from Warhammer, from uh, Starship Troopers. You got stuff from Cyberpunk, from Resident Evil 2 and 3. All the way down here to like some of these characters from Doom. And uh, he also has his YouTube channel with like 34,000 subscribers. So this is not a small dude. This guy has been around a while apparently. So he's got all these videos you can check out on 3D modeling. Some crazy awesome stuff. Uh, and of course right here you can actually see from the tweet the link to his GoFundMe. And I'll make sure to put this in the description for the video as well. Because these companies just suck. To be honest. Games Workshop is one of the most awful predatory companies when it comes to the prices that they gouge their customers with day in and day out. So Eman Gasemi, who is the person behind Eman Gaming, says, Greetings everyone, my name is Eman Gasemi, but I am more widely known as Eman G. I design models for 3D printing and publish them via my page on Colt 3D, and that was the page we were just looking at. For many years, I've been doing my work gratis, as in for free. 
I always looked forward to new prints and showcases of painted models by many talented individuals across the 3D printing scene. Creating uh, scale models for printing was not only my passion, but my dream job. You can find videos about my work here, and we were just on his YouTube video, uh, his YouTube channel. On October 24th, 2023, I was personally served with a number of copyright infringement complaints. Due to the lengthy proceedings, I've incurred significant legal fees and related costs that I'm currently trying to pay off. Unfortunately, negotiations have taken much longer than expected, and my legal fees and settlement costs are substantial. Uh, as I am currently unemployed and do not have a viable source of income, I cannot afford to pay these fees myself, and so I am kindly asking for donations to help to make these remaining payments. Every don uh, donation, no matter how small, will help in this time of struggle. Your support is greatly appreciated. Any and all remaining funds after my legal bills are paid at the end of this campaign will be donated to charity. And you can see, uh, I believe even here you've got... Uh, where is he at? I, I want to say that Archcast donated like 500 bucks to this guy, so putting his money where his mouth is. Pretty pretty generous of him to do that. And of course, you see uh, his supporters coming out saying, please support Eman G. He's a 3D uh, artist. He didn't do anything wrong. And Games Workshop royally screwed him over. Don't let Games Workshop fear-mongering tactics make an example out of him. Otherwise, he'll have more copyright problems in the future from company, companies like Games Workshop. And that's the thing, too. The thing about these companies, especially the ones who've gone like uber woke, they have abused their authority and power when it comes to things like copyright or exclusivity. You can see examples of places like uh, over there, Magic the Gathering with Wizards of the Coast, actually sending essentially uh, thugs, goons, these guys called the Pinkertons, to seize leaked cards from a YouTuber's house. Crazy story. Things about like uh, how somebody gets cards that were supposed to be released at a certain point early, and he gets them like two months ahead of time, not to any like fault of his own. These dudes show up at the door, threaten him, hassle him. I, this is the kind of crap these guys pull. That's where you got people like this saying, a uh, reminder that people who buy Games Workshop products should be gate kept out of the hobby. A lot of people feel this way. I know that Thor Odinson and a lot of the big collectors feel this way. At this point, most of these guys are 3D printing. They're done giving their money to Games Workshop. They're done with these companies who are going after little tiny creators. And I, I don't want to say tiny because he does have a huge following. He's got 35,000 followers on this Colts 3D website. He's got, you know, 34,000 YouTube subscribers. So he has a big group of followers, but clearly he's not making bank off of anything he's doing. You're talking, this is just them flexing their muscles, trying to once again, squeeze people dry. Any competition, they're just trying to put them out of business, just trying to shut them down. So if you feel like being charitable, definitely look up this guy's GoFundMe. Like I said, I'll put it in the link down below. Let me know what you think about it, this guys. I mean, I know that technically there might be some issues there legally where he skirted a line here or there. To, to be honest, I know that there are a lot of gray areas that people fall into when it comes to copyright. Not everybody's aware of what's uh, fair use, what they can get away with, what skirts the edges you know, of copyright law infringement. Either way, let me know your thoughts down below, guys, and I will catch you later. All right, and if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for being here. I do have two channels, Minimal Effort Podcast, as well as my gaming channel. I do have a Twitch and Kick for my gaming channel. We do live streams over there occasionally, maybe once a week. And then if you are in the market for a new PC, make sure to check out Meta PCs. Click the link I have down below. Use code TEBO at checkout for a special discount. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.